And welcome to the ECF Edge portion of Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. The ESG market is in its infancy, but it's growing fast. And this controversy over exactly what constitutes environmental, social, and government's ESG principles. Joining us now, right here, Doug Peterson. He's the president and CEO of S&P Global. It's one of the world's largest providers of indexes, including the Dow Jones Index, including ESG indexes. Doug, you have just released a statement on what you think the essential principles of ESG should be. Everyone's worried about the environment, but no one can agree on what these terms are, ESG, actually mean. What are you proposing in this statement? What we're proposing is ESG needs to become more standardized. As an example, ES and G are factors which not a lot of people have defined very specifically. If you think about going to a, a, a restaurant, do you know what organic means? We don't now, but many years ago people talked about what would be healthy food. Organic was never defined, now it is. In ES and G, it's time to be more transparent, to have more standardization. Well, it's one of the big indexes in the world. You've got the powers to push some standardization through. I want to ask you about it, news of the moment. Here, SEC Chair Gary Gensler has released his long awaited proposed rules on climate change. They just voted three to one in favor of the proposed rules. It would make disclosures mandatory on climate change, and he hopes it would make them more uniform. So, is this a step in the right direction? Is this what you want to see more? For example, what is SP? Global's position on this. We welcome that this debate has started to be open with the business community. There's groups around the world, there's been an alphabet soup for many years of people trying to come up with standardization. There's one in particular, the ISSB, the International Sustainability Standards Board, which is trying to have a convergence of all of this. So we welcome this debate, this dialogue. We hope that it leads to standardization so that we avoid some sort of a fragmentation in the markets on this kind of data. Okay.